Secret Invasion, Season 1, Episode 6, Thoughts. This episode is called Home. And yeah, spoilers for the MCU leading up to and including this episode. Another episode I absolutely love. Real quick, before I dive in, please support the SAG AFTRA after strike and yeah I put some links in the description box to videos that say everything that I would have to say about it so and I'm probably not gonna get as deep into um, Jesse Gender did an excellent video on this episode where she talks about all the issues that with how it presents politically I'm going to direct you to that one. I won't be able to say it as well as she does, and she covered absolutely everything. So, yeah, so we open on, you know, Nick says he, you know, it's true he hasn't called, you know, Vara as, you know, she makes clear she wants to be, you know, she wants to live under that name, so I would be referring to her by that name. You know, he has dialed it many times, and yeah, so the the guards fire on the, the car, and then we see it was self-driving, so I guess Tesla is in on the, and uh, let's see, yeah, and, and they're shot, the, the guards are shot, and apparently the guy who the Russian who can't be trusted to tell the truth about the whether or not the um, yeah whether or not they attacked his name is Vladimov which is almost Vladimir Putin <laughs> and yeah they mentioned tanks on the Ukraine border, I think. I mean, I guess maybe it was too late for them to change the line. I don't know. I just feel like, considering the actual war in Ukraine, that might not have been the best thing to... And we get the... Right, yeah, um... Nick, you know, goes into New Skrullus, which is radioactive. And I guess, you know, we later realize it was Gaia. I guess she figured maybe someone was watching her, so she had to fake it. Yeah, that works. And then we have... Um... Right, right. Um, Sonia, you know, claims that Nick is going to attack the president, which gets, you know, them moving, and we see, you know, people be taken out. And I appreciate, like, at first it sounds like silenced, you know, oh, he's using a gun with a silencer, but later we see, no, it was like trank darts. Which, you know, I feel like you could probably, I could probably make around that same noise as a silenced regular gun. And, yeah, we learned that, you know, Gravik's face was the first man he killed. And he lays out, you know, his grievances with Fury. And, yeah, like, it's really frustrating that he's he's making these really great points, but we're supposed to not take it seriously because, oh, but he's the bad guy. And, you know, I, the, the, let's see. Yeah, we get the detail that, <clears throat> you know, I guess Fury told Gaia to tell Gravik, you know, I thought it would be, it would be easier to save 8 billion people than to change their minds. And he specifically uses the term hearts and minds, which is, you know, that was something they said about when they went into the Middle East. 
they would be changing hearts and minds. And yeah, a bunch of the president's people have been killed. The president gets a gun of his own. And yeah, so the... Let's see. Yeah, Sonia reveals that she was part of the you know, attack, which I, I do appreciate. Like, I was hoping that they would explain, because there's clearly at least two people with with guns in... Or wait, was she hiding in that room? And Anyway. Um, and then, yeah, Gravik turns into a, a super scroll, and we realize that, you know, Gaia was posing as Nick Fury, and, you know, the, the machine should have killed... You know, it would kill a human being, but a scroll becomes superpowered. So yeah, we have two super scrolls attacking each other. And let's see. Yeah, and and Fury is near the present. And I mean I do appreciate like when she when when Gaia wants to knock um knock away Gravik. You know, she uses a Hulk arm, and they also use Drax's arm, some to attack each other. Cull Obsidian. Not 100% certain the ice spear thing, whose DNA that is, but I'm, I'm sure I'll find out when New Rockstars or um, Screen Crunch, Screen Crush do a video on it. And, yeah, so Fury explains to the president about scrolls. And, I mean, I did think the intercutting was, was decent. Like, I feel like the, the fact that this thing has, the, that a person has to get their mind changed, bef you know, in time, you know, that was that was a decent element, and I forget whose, but the the um one of yeah one of the super scrolls uses the telekinesis of I forget his name, but he was one of the children of Thanos, and they both do the Captain Marvel thing, and she uses Mantis's powers, and yeah, it was ultimately it was a pretty short fight. I mean. It's, you know, that is a win for the CG people who I really hope get a good union. You know, it's, I'm, I'm torn because on the one hand, I was kind of hoping for more. Although, I mean, there is still a Super Scroll in the MCU. But, but yeah, then we have the, the you know, I, I thought Gravix was much more interesting when he was explaining ideas than when he's just punching. And let's see. yeah, and and Gaia goes and frees people from the scroll jails, including Ross. I was holding out hope. You know, I know I know a bunch of people thought that he was dead. I'm kind of glad that he is still uh, around. And yeah, so the president makes this very aggressive statement against alien immigrants, and you know, it leads to a bunch of hate crimes. And, yeah, I, I'm going to direct you to, to Jessie Gender's video because she explains it really well. Just, I, I guess I'll just very briefly say, you know, the show is in response, should be, should take greater care with these, you know, these evocative images and... Yeah, like in the text of the show, the, the lizard people are real. You know, the this QAnon absurd thing is true in the fiction of the show, which is really messed up considering that in real life it absolutely isn't. It's it's one of and I just I wish that they had gone because they could have done a thing where like let's let's see. I mean, I guess, honestly, they'd have to completely rework this show to where the Skrulls weren't the bad guys. Maybe have a, a faction of human beings who are so paranoid about Skrulls being bad guys 
that they start this rumor, this, you know, about Skrulls being dangerous, so that the show ends up saying, yeah, you know, maybe they exist, but they're not dangerous. But we end up with this thing where, no, they, they are dangerous. It's just, like, it's it's kind of out of control, but you can, yeah, yeah, it's just, you know, the, the response, the people who are going off what the president is saying are out of control, but... Yeah, there actually was, you know, they almost got, they, they almost destroyed the entire world. They they wanted nuclear war to, to make it uninhabitable to humans, only inhabitable to them. You know, these are things, like, right now in America, there are, every single time an immigrant enters America, there's, you know, a ton of conservatives spewing just insane vile hatred about them and these ridiculous ideas that are completely untrue and yeah like this show basically says oh it's it's true but you know there are some good ones also and just yeah but again you know Jesse does an even better job ex explaining all this so make sure you watch her I'm, I'm just I'm saying this for the people who don't go watch her video afterwards Let's see, and then, uh, um, yeah, we have the, the, um, whether or not, um, hmm, hold on, what is that? Right, you know, what, yeah, Nick and, and Vara, if it, if, if they, if that can last or not. And, yeah, Sonya meets Gaia, and, yeah, like, the, the, they're, they, they're going to be working together, but it's going to be a more honest relationship than, than between, um, Fury and the, yeah. And... Yeah, the the <clears throat> we see the um, yeah yeah so the um, you know yeah obviously the scrolls this is not like the end of that whole thing Gaia is still out there she's now working for Sonya and there is this like crisis situation and it's you know they're probably going to cover some of this in an upcoming MCU thing. And yeah, I I'm I wish I had hoped that they could salvage it, but I think at this point there's just there's not really any way that I just, I I wish I think they could have you know like I said in other videos if they just had I realized that it wouldn't be very realistic if you just said, oh, the scrolls are going to be accepted by a lot of people. But just, like, I think this was the wrong way to handle it. You know, I appreciate, like, there's some, there's some honesty and realism to it, but, you know, yeah. Like I mentioned, and like Jesse gets into detail about, they're not... It's not done with they're 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 not handling it right. They're they're not completely understanding what they're saying. And yeah, they actually have the president say, "Get him off my plane." It and. Right, and supposedly the Kree are going to bring about peace, which, yeah. I mean, ridiculous things have happened in the MCU already. And, you know, the, yeah, Nick says he does love Vara, and she insists that, yeah, she's, she wants to live under her real name, and, yeah, you know, she she has, she really has her work cut out for her now that it's gotten so bad. Yeah. Um, disappointing ending. You know, there's there's stuff that I, I did really 
appreciate about this episode, but yeah, you know, I mean, at this point, it is kind of, you know, they'll, the MCU shows, you know, they'll, they'll have interesting ideas over the course of the show, and then we get to the finale, and it's people, powerful people with the same powers punching each other for a while, and it doesn't really spend enough time resolving the stuff that, yeah. Uh, I it's it's very very frustrating how badly they handled the yeah I think that's that's uh, that's what I have for this one um, yeah uh, I'll I'll record the review soon I don't know if it's going to be today it might not be until tomorrow I'll I'll see I think. Yeah, that's that's everything that I have. So, make my marvel.